guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ella if you're new here, if not hello. So today I'm on the Vale. Today I'm at the University of Birmingham Vale campus. This is where the Vale village is. If you didn't already know, this is where I lived for my first year at university. I lived in Chamberlain Block A. Now that I'm moving out of the Vale village, I thought that I'd give students moving in some tips and tricks about the Vale. So as always, if you do like this video, I'd love if you gave it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And if you'd like some more videos about student life, then feel free to comment down below any recommendations. Okay, so let's get into the tips. If you're the type of person that likes exercising, then the Vale is the perfect place for you. My first tip would be to make the most of the exercise machines along the Vale. Along the path, we have lots of different exercise machines and they range from different levels. So this is used by the students and also by the public. So that's my first tip, make use of the exercise machines. My next tip is in regards to the laundry. So I'm in the Chamberlain Tower Laundry Services. At the University of Birmingham, we use the service Circuit, which allows you to pay for your laundry on your phone on an app. Now, a lot of the times the laundry services are very busy. So one really useful tip that I would recommend is downloading both the Circuit app and the University of Birmingham accommodation app. The Circuit app is where you pay for your laundry. So you pay using PayPal or your credit card and you scan the barcode on the washing machines and it allows you to start your washing from your phone. The one good thing about the app is that it does tell you how many washing machines are free and when your laundry is done. The University of Birmingham accommodation app also tells you the availability of the washers and dryers which means that you don't have to come to the laundry room with all of your things and find out that there isn't any space. The app also includes a maintenance file where you can log any maintenance issue and a member of the team will come out. Along with this the app includes events that are going on and a really useful map to show you where your classes are and the buildings. Finally there's also a section to get in touch and learn more about the team on the Vale along with the student mentor scheme. Another important thing to note with the circuit laundry is that you can only put detergent powder or pods in. It doesn't have a space for liquid and you're also not allowed to put bleach or two-in-one detergent. So to save you bringing different detergents, make sure to only bring the pods or powder. My next tip is in regards to study spaces. So right now I am in Infusion in Shackleton and I'm in an empty room that you can use as a study space. So although the Vale doesn't have a designated study building, there are lots of secret places that you can go to study instead of your room. So one tip that I would recommend is exploring the Vale and seeing which study area suits you best. One really good study space that I'd really recommend is coming outside onto the Vale near the lake. The Vale has tons of benches where you can put your work on and it's especially nice in summer when the weather is warm. It's just a really nice different place to study if you don't really like studying in your room and the Vale provides lots of different benches and areas outside where you can do this. So for the students that are catered you'll most likely come here every night. This is Infusion and it is a catering hall. It's located in Shackleton and it's pretty much where most people eat every night. So the tip that I would remember if you are catered and you do come to Infusion is to bring your water bottle. If you have enough money on your meal plan then you can buy drinks here but if you're the kind of person that brings water bottles everywhere then I would highly recommend remembering to bring it for dinner. This is because they only have a water bottle dispenser so you can't actually get any tap water anywhere. The next tip and trick that I have is again for catered students and it's to make the most of the melt or you can eat breakfast. There'll be tons of times as a student where you'll want to have a cooked breakfast and the Melt does this on the weekends. They offer different versions of all you can eat breakfast including six items and 12 items. So that's a really good thing that I'd remember if you do want a cooked breakfast then come to the Melt. A really good thing to remember in Shackleton is that they do provide an Amazon locker so if you have anything delivered to you from Amazon then make sure to come here it's a really useful thing for students as you can get Amazon Prime as a student so if you do have any packages coming for you from Amazon and you want to collect them then make sure to come here in the Shackleton. Another really good feature of Shackleton is that it has its own cash machine with free withdrawals. This is a really useful thing for students especially on fireworks night when we have to take out our own cash so a tip to remember if you do need to get cash is to come to the Shackleton reception. If you are looking to post a letter then Shackleton again is another perfect place to come they have their own post box where you can send letters to your family and friends. Along with this, they also have a food drop. 
Another really useful tip is making the most of the donation boxes. So as a student you will find that you have a lot of spare clothes and books and instead of chucking them out the university provides donation boxes. The main one is at Mason where you can put clothes and books and it's just a really useful thing to bear in mind. So right now I am on one of the Bell's really nice green areas and it's to give you the tip to make the most of the barbecues. In summer especially lots of students like to do barbecues and the Vale do accommodate for this allowing you to have a barbecue on one of the concrete blocks. So in front of me is one of the blocks where you can put the barbecues. Costcutter at Shackleton do sell some small barbecues so it's a really good tip to make the most of the blocks that the accommodation provide. Another really important thing to remember is that the accommodation does provide a fire blanket and a fire extinguisher when you do want to have a barbecue. So if you do want to have one in the summer term then make sure to let them know at the Shackleton hub and they will provide you with the extinguisher and the blanket. One really amazing thing about the Vale is all the events it holds. So for Freshers Week I had about five events on the Vale including an outdoor cinema so one important tip that I would say is to make the most of the events and also to know where to stand so a really big event at the Vale is fireworks night all of the third and second years come and also the public and it can get very busy so a really good trick is to know where to stand right now I am on the bridge and this is where I would really recommend standing as you can get the perfect view as it can get very busy though I would recommend standing and coming quite early to get a good spot so there we go that's about all the tips and tricks I have for those living on the veil I will make sure to write all the tips down below and to anyone else that has had experience on the veil and have any more tips then I'd love if you commented down below and shared if any students have any questions about living on the veil then feel free to comment down below and I'll try my hardest to answer them I had such a nice experience living on the veil so it's been so much fun sharing my tips with you guys I hope you guys liked this video and liked all the tips that I had if you did I'd love if you liked and subscribed and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>